presence nationwide, and we feel that uh, it will open up a lot of markets for uh, uh, Christian Wildlife Marine uh, Group. So we're very excited about that. What about for local folks? Are we going to find this in more places? What we're going to do is uh, separate both uh, from the Moorland Loggers and Nails Division, which will focus only on the handcrafted side of Christian Warline, and the Hula Pole Shingle Division, which will focus on the uh, Hula Pole, on the upcoming burger here, as well as the Little Kings. And this will give the brands a lot more focus uh, within the trade locally. Wow. Why didn't you get this name you know, way back when when you got Christian Warline and when you got Beautiful or whatever? Uh, we actually had been uh, looking to put all the Cincinnati brands back together for quite some time. The local ownership left about 10 years ago. Approximately five years ago, we were able to acquire Christian Warline. Uh, we felt that the Warline brand was, uh, had two major attributes to it that really helped sell the brand. One was, uh, it was the first American beer to pass the German purity law. And the uh, second one was, it was the first craft beer, uh, arguably the first craft beer sold east of the Mississippi. And what we're really excited about is that we're able to fill out a portfolio of brands now uh, where we'll have uh, uh, the Little Kings uh, in the uh, super premium area as well as the Hootie Delight in the premium area. So will we see, if, if just as a customer, will I find this maybe more in, in restaurants and stuff like that in different kind of places than just, you know, the grocery store? Or? Uh, you will find uh, the Little Kings brand throughout uh, all of the major uh, grocery chains and liquor store chains uh, in Greater Cincinnati, and we hope to expand that out uh, rapidly nationwide in the next three years. All right. Uh, you, you were talking, mentioned something about uh, doing something with uh, uh, opening day or something, or some, some kind of promotions coming up. Oh, that had to do with it. So I was oh, okay. Well, I'm skipping over the Um Is uh. Do you brew this beer here now or somewhere else? Uh, currently, the Little Kings brand is actually uh, uh, in transition. Uh, and we brew the beer in, over in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. And our plans are is to uh, not only lo move the local ownership um, back to Cincinnati, but we also want to uh, move uh, local brewing operations back to Cincinnati. With the acquisition of the Little Kings brand, this will enable us to have a critical mass in order to uh, start to move towards that direction. So right now, are all beers made up in Pennsylvania, or? I uh, know we use actually uh, three uh, uh, breweries where we rent uh, brewery space to brew all of our beers uh, throughout the country. So um, so you're hoping to bring, eventually bring all that back? Our goal is to bring all of the brewing operations back to the uh, Do you have a place to do that in yet? Is it looking for one? I'm so looking. So if anyone's got like an old brewery, do you need an old brewery building or just any kind of big building? No, it's a little 